Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy, HiJRT.com, and today's workout is a 1,000 rep dumbbell workout. So if you like these workouts, make sure you check out HiJRT.com. Also, subscribe to the channel here on YouTube so you don't miss any of these workouts. Like I mentioned, it's 1,000 reps we're gonna be doing today, and it starts with the jump rope. So I'm gonna head back here. I'm gonna grab my RX Smart Gear jump rope. I am going to be using the Elite cable today at a length of seven feet, nine inches. Now, we're gonna start off this workout with 50 jump rope double unders. That's when the rope gets two rotations around your body every time that you jump. So get in position here, make sure you're using proper form, toes are in a line, you're gonna be jumping on the balls of your feet the entire time, keeping your heels off the ground. You're gonna initiate the first rotation of that rope, immediately bring your elbows in close to your sides, keep your hands right around hip level, and we're gonna be rotating the rope just with our wrists. So get that rope going. You can start with a little bit of warm up here, just do some basic single jumps. But then in the workout, what we're gonna do is 50 double unders. So I'm gonna jump a little bit higher off the ground and I'm gonna begin rotating that rope a little bit quicker with my wrists. So now you'll see that the rope gives two rotations every time that I jump. So to begin this workout, you're going to do 50 jump rope double unders. If you're unable to do double unders, just do twice as many of those single jumps that I was showing you in the beginning. So you'll just end up doing 100 of those. Then we're gonna move on to a series of dumbbell moves that we're gonna do here. We're gonna do these each 10 reps for each of these. And this whole workout is actually uh, 10 rounds that we're gonna be doing. So after you've completed 50 double unders, you're gonna set your jump rope down. Now you're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. So both these dumbbells, we're gonna start by doing 10 dumbbell cleans. So you're gonna set these down on the ground. What you wanna do is have your feet just about hip width apart. You're gonna bend down and grab the handles of the dumbbells. It'll help a little bit if you grab towards the rear end of those dumbbells. Because you're gonna be touching them to the ground and we're gonna be cleaning them up. So send that butt back, grab a hold of those dumbbells. What you're gonna do is you're gonna clean them up and you're gonna bring them right up, right in front of your shoulders here. Make sure that the center of that dumbbell is going past the center point of your shoulder. And then you're gonna bring them back down, bend the legs, touch the head of the dumbbell to the ground again, and then come back all the way up. So you're gonna end up doing 10 of these dumbbell cleans. Start by sending that butt back, bend slightly in the knees, bring them all the way up to shoulders. You're gonna do 10 of these dumbbell cleans. Once those are complete, you're gonna move right into 10 dumbbell squats. So you're gonna have your, heat, your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart on these, grabbing those dumbbells, and we're gonna rack these in the front position. So you're gonna bring them up and hold them right in front of your chest. And then you're gonna initiate your first squat all the way down, bringing that butt down below the knee level, pressing all the way up to full extension, hips fully opened up. You're gonna do 10 of these dumbbell front squats. Once you've completed 10 of those, you're gonna set those dumbbells down, take a break if you need to, but we're moving right into the next exercise, which is 10 bent over rows. So once again, get in that nice athletic stance. You should have your hips just about, a little, your, your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. What we're gonna do is bend down, pick up those dumbbells. Pick them up and then send that butt back again with a flat back, arms at full extension. You're gonna roll them up, pause for a second, and then slowly bring them back down again. Roll them up. Head and neck should be a neutral spine. Bring them up, pause, slowly bring them down. You can do 10 of these bent over rows. Once those 10 are done, you set them down briefly. Now we're gonna do 10 deadlifts. Same stance as before. We're gonna get those dumbbells, we're gonna go bend down, we're gonna deadlift them up. So bend down, grab the handles, send that butt back, flat back, come all the way up, full extension, up, open up those hips, squeeze that back, bring those shoulders back, chest up, then come all the way back down, all the way up. Back down to the dumbbells, touch the ground, and you can do 10 of these deadlifts. Once those 10 are complete, now we're moving on to the last movement here, and we're gonna do 10 renegade rows. So now we're gonna get down here on the ground in a plank position, align those dumbbells in front of you. What you wanna do is get in a plank position, have your feet wide so you have a nice stable stance, put your hands on the handles of those dumbbells. What you're gonna end up doing is going down into one push-up. You're gonna press out of that push-up, Shift your weight to one side, do one row on this side. Shift your weight to the other side, do one row on this side. That is one rep. All the way down, another push up. Row, row, push up, row, other arm. That's three reps. You're gonna do a total of 10 of those. That completes one round of the workout. So it starts with those 50 double unders with the jump rope. Then we move on to the 10 of the dumbbell cleans. Then we're gonna do 10 of those dumbbell front squats. Then 10 of the bent over rows, 
10 deadlifts, and 10 renegade rows. That completes one round. We're gonna repeat all of that for a total of 10 rounds, which completes it and makes it 1,000 reps on this dumbbell workout. So, hey guys, I hope you liked this workout. If you did, please give me a thumbs up down below. Also, make sure you check out highjrt.com for more workouts like this. We have a bunch of training programs on there, plus become a member of the JRT gym and get workouts like this sent to you every single day. So thanks a lot, guys. Also in the comment section, let me know what else you wanna see. I will do my best to bring it to you. Hope you enjoy this workout. I will see you right back here in the JRT gym for the next workout.